You're right guys, it's Capcom Tom here and welcome to the discard technique. This is for budgets of between 0 and 25,000 coins and is part of the ultimate trading guide that I put up the other day on my channel. Now if you don't know what the ultimate trading guide is, it is a 28 minute long video full of every trading technique I know on ultimate team. I outlined them and didn't give all that much detail about them. This is where I'm going to explain every method in detail. I'm going to start off with the discard technique as I've already said and you will know 100% how to do this technique by the end of this video. Now if you're looking to buy some ultimate team coins go and check out FETCoinEmporium.com their link will be down in the description. So the discard technique what are you doing in it? You are going to be trying to buy cards for a cheaper price than they discard for. Then when you discard them you will obviously get some coins back and you don't get taxed on this discard value so is profit whatever you make on that card more than you paid for it is pure profit you don't have to worry about the 5% or anything like that which is excellent also the other benefit is it's a very low risk trading method as long as you do it right you're not gonna lose coins it's impossible because if someone outbids you it doesn't matter because well you get your coins back that's the worst that can happen if you win you know then you get to discard it and make more coins so it's a very good method and because it's a good method and everyone has a very short amount of coins at the moment it is a very used method I have to say that now not because of this video is this method overused it's because everyone knows how to do it I'll quickly give you a demonstration so on the web app I go to gold and as most of you will know already gold non rare players discard for 300 coins or more so we are going to put a max price of 250 coins so gold 250 coins we put a bid on we win we discard it we make money so here you go we will quickly go through the listings a little bit further up because all of these are going for 250 already but as soon as I click on one you will notice that oh in fact I might get to but no nope, there you go so someone has already outbid me on this card and they have bid on pretty much every single card that card's got a bid on that card's got a bid on so they are going almost as quickly as rare gold contracts do when they get listed up for 200 coins you know they go very very quickly there's a Vitzel there but that's got two days left I'll probably get a bid on it in a minute but I'm not gonna bid on it because I don't want to invest you know 550 coins for three days it just doesn't make any sense so there you go you want to list up or go up to the 59th minute with this technique and uh, try and see if you can squeeze out some profit that way there's an Oscar here for you know I might even put a bid on it hang on a sec might be able to make some money here. I'll put 600 on it. I know it's going to go for more. Oh no, in fact, someone's outbid me again. So there you go. You can see how competitive the gold market is. Anyway, I'll quickly show you what did everything discards for. So we have non rare gold players. They discard for 300. They will discard for more if they have a higher rating. So a 75 rated gold will discard for 300. A 76 rated gold will probably discard for more like 310. If you have a rare gold player, that will discard for 600, obviously going up by rating each time. Rare silvers, they'll discard for 200. Also, they'll go up as well. Then you have rare staff, they discard for 240. So I'm talking physios, I'm talking head coaches, and I'm talking, um, what are they called? Uh, fitness managers or fitness coaches. Only the rare ones will go for 240. And then rare gold managers, they will also go for 270 coins. At least the one I looked at was going for that anyway when I tried to quick sell it. So there is, you know, certain things that you can try and do this method on. There's also the informs, the uh, gold informs. They'll discard for 10k, although, you know, most of the time you want to try and sell them on. So if you can pick it up for less than, you know, 9,500, I'd say, then definitely do so. I think they start at like 9,600 and they go all the way up to about 10 and a half K then you also have your silver informs they go for five ish but again I wouldn't you know try and discard them I try and sell them on because they're quite rare the silver ones as are the bronze ones I think they get discarded for about a thousand so those are the uh, amounts that things discard for if I missed any off put them down in the comment section and I apologize um, but the way I found this most effective especially now with the game so young the gold methods will work much much better when the new game is fully out and everything is getting listed up very quickly like during happy hours during you know all, all the time it will work most of the time as soon as packs start getting opened all the time and people have a few more coins because once you have like 20k you don't need to do this method anymore it doesn't make sense because you've got enough coins to do a different trading method but this is for people with absolutely no coins at all so for, for my one I'd say silver now if I did a search now you will see that thousands and thousands of pages come up like we don't even get past a minute if we do one search and they are all non-rare silvers so 
you have to filter it down and you have to do these individually so if we go first off for I'm gonna go for the um, ba, 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 the primary division this is one I have a lot of success in I search 150 coins because a rare silver will discard for you know 200 I will quickly scroll through all the way up towards the 59th minute and if I see any shiny silvers then I will putting a, be putting a bid of either 150 if they're 65 rated or 200 if they're 66 and above so we're at about the 20th minute so far so we're just going to keep on scrolling we'll just speed it up a little bit 45th minute and you can see why you have to sort of filter out the different leagues because otherwise you'd be there for hours because there's thousands and thousands of pages of the normal silvers so I lucked out that time there was none let's try a different league instead should we try the Super League? like last time I did this I found one straight away I bet this time now that I'm recording it it will not show it but I have got one in my watch list so that you can see anyway so we're gonna quickly speed this up because it's quite difficult to get all the way to the uh, last page especially when your web browser is lagging don't happen to find anything this time round but uh, this is obviously something you have to do over and over again and and let's join the live commentary again no okay there's none anyway you get the idea just filter it out by the league position uh, nationality if you want to do it however you want search for 150 max price if they're going if that's 65 bid 150 coins if it's 66 plus then bid 200 and you, as you can see here my transfer targets actually been outbid on this one which is a shame but this viola I did have a bid of 200 coins on it so um, I was going to make some money on it this guy will probably be able to actually sell on for a little bit more because he has decent stats and do remember that if you see something that's you know pretty valuable and start start price of 150 make sure you add it to watch list or bid on it just so that it's in your watch list and you can try and bid on it later because you can go and check the price and see how much it's actually actually worth so there you go guys that is the discard technique I hope you've uh, enjoyed it understood it if you have any questions put them down in the comment section I'll happily answer any questions you have um, there's obviously been a link on screen to the actual ultimate trading guide so go and check that out as time goes on I will add more and more full technique videos to that video so you can go check them out but yeah that's it i hope you've enjoyed it i will leave it there and i will see you all next time